What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be checking out this Viair portable automatic compressor. It's going to be great for Class A RVs and your vehicle. Let's check it out. This compressor is going to run off your battery with clamps, so you hook it up to your vehicle. Not only can you air up the tires on your vehicle right here, but you're going to have 60 feet of air hose to walk it all the way back to your rig without having to move the compressor. Now we talked about what it does, let's see how it works. So first up, we're gonna hook up the clamps to the battery. They seem like they're good alligator clamps. They got a good tension on them, so I don't have to worry about them coming loose when I use this. So we'll go to red first, make sure red goes to positive. And then the black ones will go to negative over here. With those hooked up, we can go back to the compressor. And now we'll start attaching the hose. So this is where you're gonna attach the primary hose for the compressor. It says so on the label, so you'll know which one to use. Now these come in two different sections, so this is only gonna be 30 feet with this one, but we're gonna make that connection in the center to make it the full 60. We're gonna do the same thing we did as a compressor. I'm gonna show you a little bit more this time is the fitting looks a little different. You're just gonna push down on the outside. That's gonna allow you to insert the hose in there. It should go snap back up into place and it's connected. Same thing for when we go to this end to attach our air gun. So you're just gonna push down on the outside, let that snap into place. We're gonna use this fitting to fill up our tires and it works just like all the other connections you've seen. You also have other attachments, so you can use it for any soccer balls or basketball. You got the needle attachment here. We got the attachment for a Presta valve for a bike and then these two are from other inflatable objects so you have all that in this kit as well when you need to air those up you fire up your truck you want to make sure your vehicle is running when you go to use the air compressor because it is going to take a little bit from the battery so that'll keep that charge you won't run it down all the way i'm going to flip the switch so it's going right now you can barely hear the compressor over the truck so that's how quiet it is. And I like this rubber here at the bottom that keeps this from vibrating around too much and moving. It doesn't go anywhere, it stays right in place. So I really like how quiet that is while it runs. Now we're at the furthest back tire on our rig. We still got cord to spare. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up. We're gonna thread this on to the air valve on our tire. I like that because it's not as harsh on the valves as some of the ones that you have to use the lever and it's gonna stay attached. So don't worry about Pull them there and see if it's going to come off. You hear a little bit of an air escape when you go to twist this and you know that it's attached. It's very minor. Now, with it hooked up, we can look at our gauge. See, we're a little bit above 40 PSI on here. So you can instantly see how much is in there. And if you want to let it a little bit, a little bit out, you got the bleeder valve. So we'll push on that. We'll drop it under 40 and then air it back up. I'm going to go about 35 and then put the air back in. About there. Now all you got to do to put the air back in, you're going to pull the trigger. I'm not even pulling all the way, but that didn't take us very long to get right back to 40. Taking a closer look at the compressor, there's a few things I wanted to point out. It's got a nice handle on there with a foam cover on it, so it's easy to grip and lift and move this around when you need to. You also have a fuse here in line that's gonna protect the compressor. You can also replace the air filters in here. You can unscrew this cap and it comes with two or three replacements, so you can keep an eye on that and replace it when you need to. I also really like the construction of it overall. I've had other compressors that didn't last very long. They were made out of plastic. They would rattle around on the ground when you go to use them. I like that this one's protected on the bottom and it's a sturdy build. So I don't have to worry about it breaking on me when I'm putting it away in the back of the car. When it comes time to put it away, it does come with its own carrying case. Everything fits in there really nicely. We'll drop the compressor in first with the cables. Inside the bag is the other attachment you can use for 
dual wheel setup. So if you need to reach the back valve stem, you can use this instead of the attachment we use today. Now you have pockets on the front and back for the air hose. So you don't have to worry about getting it all in the center portion. At least plenty of room in there to put them in place. And zip it up to the front and the back side. I really like that it comes with its own carrying case just so this doesn't take over the back of your vehicle or wherever you put it. Because if you had all these hoses laying out there by themselves, it would take up a lot of space and you're more likely to not have everything when you actually need it. So I like that it keeps it all contained so you'll be able to find everything really easily when you have to go air up or check your tires. Overall, I like this compressor. I was impressed with how sturdy it was built and how little noise it actually made when we were using it. The fact that it doesn't constantly run means it's not gonna wear down on me as fast as some other ones I've had in the past. I also like how it's got plenty of air hose, so I was able to hook it up up front, then run all the way to the back tire and inflate all those without moving this around every step of the way. Plus, it comes in its own container, so everything's gonna be here when I need it. It's got everything in the bag, so I don't have to worry about searching for little parts that I might need when I go to air up the tires. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.